All right, we are turning our attention outside now. First alert, meteorologist Ron Smiley is joining us this morning. And you know what? We deserve good weather. We have been <laughs> through a lot. Listen to Erica. <laughs> Ron. I mean, yeah, we yeah. all feel this way. She speaks for the people. Well, yeah, and, and it's interesting because uh, when you go back 150 years, this is the coldest start to May that we have on record uh, with temperatures very cold, both on uh, Monday the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd. Uh, today we will start to warm back up. We'll be about 10 degrees warmer both of the morning hours and in the afternoon hours than what we have seen. Also, our rain chances are going to be lower today. We're not going to have those pesky kind of cold showers around all day long, but we will still have some rain. We're tracking rain right now, including some decent rain that's been falling in the overnight hours from Indiana over to Altoona and into the Bedford area. That's slowly drifting off to the east, but something they're still dealing with. Also down just south of I-70 around the Uniontown area, you're still dealing with some rain as well. I'm going to zoom way out and just kind of show you everything that's going on across the U.S. Big player in our weather over the last couple of days. In fact, since last Friday has been this big wave here in the upper low that is now developed into that. That continues to move off to the east, so that will be moving away and it's going to allow us to see a warmer air that's going to be moving in. My only concern over the next couple of days, you see this warm front right there? We'll actually see, and you can see a little bit of rain. You see how the rain way out ahead of that warm front? We'll actually have a chance late Sunday into Monday morning, it looks like now, for maybe an isolated shower, but besides that, the entire weekend is looking dry. So Friday, Saturday, I'm gonna keep you at 0%, and I'm putting in a 20% chance for rain on Sunday. That's probably on the high side at this point. We'll have more data as we get closer to Sunday, but at least right now, Sunday's likely probably going to be dry for you. 45, your temperature right now. We actually do have some breaks out there in the clouds, and we're going to see plenty of sunshine after around 5 o'clock this afternoon, but at least up until then, we'll be looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies. Feels like temperature is at 40 degrees. That's because of our winds. They're coming in out of the northwest at 9 miles an hour, and I have them 5 to 10 miles an hour uh, for the rest of the day. Here's those temperatures for you. 43 in Zelianople, Washington at 45. Irwin 45 in Connellsville at 43 degrees. High temperature today, 56 degrees. Yeah, we still have that chance for rain. It's out of here in the overnight hours, though, so we will take that out. 39 your temperature overnight in Pittsburgh but we could actually have some frost around in some spots. So we'll, I'll show you kind of that in a little bit. Want to take you through today just really quickly and show you where the rain showers. Look at that, the afternoon hours. We will have a chance for a passing shower or two. Once that gets out of here, the rest of the weekend is looking pretty good. Here's those lows overnight. Could have a couple of frost uh, advisories being issued. I think we're close enough right now that they probably will not issue that, but it is something that has a uh, chance certainly uh, to be issued. So we'll keep you up to date there. Here's your seven day Friday high 64, 69 your Saturday high, and we're back in the 70s for highs on Sunday.